bit of a connoisseur on this champion as well, to say the least. Yeah, will Ooh. open up the Lissandra for Forge, something he feels yep. very comfortable going on. Uh, you know, going to be able to do fine in the laning phase and you just have more peel for the Aphelios because this whole comp that Ultra Prime has drafted is centered around Doggo. I mean, you have peel coming yep. out from the Renata. You have the ability to keep him alive. You have Lissandra also just, you know, goes to the lanes because you got to give credit to Minute Bot winning out to give yep. Cryo in that bot side to be able to go for that invade, which pretty much leads Ning to having to look into your top side so they know exactly what's going on from the very first minute. I want to go back to you saying that this would be Grom's son. So every time yeah. Grom responds, it's just it's just a new son. Oh! Of the oh! 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 It oh! is! It is! It's Where a lyric scout! Oh! Oh! It's a solo kill at five minutes in the game. Is it worth dying for? The original Grom's son and or like grandson? Like, no, or it's or like it a like replacement. Lineage? It's a replacement thing where... You know, it's every every Gromp has a son. Every every League of Legends player can know that. Every Gromp has a son. And they're close to cast. Beautiful stuff, but Deke is going back in. He'll see Harry, but not Ning. He needs Tarzan to help him out, but the flash away will save the day. Harry now getting there as well, but the kick through doesn't finish the job. However, they turn for Ning. Tarzan, you hero, man. Again, the second best player on LNG just disappears as Bowland now roams towards mid to give a bit of help, but Hung and LP are both here. Forge already uses the flash forward. Great engage. Ignites down. Forge going to go gold for time B, but that means that little patch is going to wear off and Forge dies anyway. Scout gets out with the slither of HP as Ning joins in, but it might just be to die. A Sonic Wave, a challenge is out, but taken by Tarzan yet again. LNG, Tarzan flashes the wave, but that was beautiful from Bao Lan. It's a response, but LNG still get everything they came for. All this dragon spawns up. LP might be saying the same thing as well. He's got plating there because Doggo's going to get kicked against the wall. Sonic wave through. Tarzan is everywhere, man. Giving this guy Lee Sin is like giving a polar bear someone to eat. We'll be able to guarantee this turn and just back off. Dragon coming Whoa. up in 10 seconds. Hope you get control over some waves. Mm -hmm. But you see item disparities for LNG. Huge. Huge. I feel like even opens up for Scout to get this turret, but having said that, Ultra Prime, they will be able to get their first turret of the game, some kind of trade going. So they're at least getting to a point now where they could potentially contend. You know, if they play these skirmishes as well, as things like Foulands Ultimate can get a lot of value. Into any kills, to even get meaningful summoners True. like LP's Flash. So Ultra Prime now might be in a rough position because LNG want to fight. And guess what? Might not have Hung's ulti, but we've still got Tarzan, still, still got Scout to jump on in. Two just put Ultra Prime in such an awkward position. Forge's ult is about to be back up, so that'll give them some more options. Scout is going to pick an angle in the meantime as well. A handshake again. There it is. Forge jumping in. Beautiful stuff. The all-in finally. But a root oh. back LP with his dying breath. May have just won the fight. A good bailout onto Ning trying to get the kill, but Zika gets away in time. Dodges the body slam from Harry as well in Ultra Prime. And now in a choke versus a G. Ultra Prime make it a heavy-handed trade as Scout might have to run in on the back line yet again. Harry starts the engage, but he flips back the rest of Ultra Prime. Unhealthy enough to do this, bro. As Ford goes in with a glacial fart, it ends up sealing his doom. No bailout for you as LNG plays with their cooldown. They once again utilize their time. If they, if they even win 2-1, they are exactly tied with EDG in terms of series, in terms of games. If EDG 2 owed LNG earlier in the split. Scout's going to push up mid at that pressure in. His LP's going to get engaged. He cleanses the wave, but has to hold the out. It's a flash there. No, Gale Wars is his voice cast. Brings him back in for Doggo to seal it. LNG saying a bit too long without their LeBlanc. And LP's on an island there. Got punished. Now Scout going to try and see if he can find something back. Onto Ming. Pops up the ulti. They jump in. Actually, they're going to find it, but it's also Taker is beautiful. Only find Hung and Zika, though, as Ding won't get bailed out. Now for Tarzan jumping in. Scout as well. Dragon's Rage. Not but LNG, they push out their side waves to get aggressive vision in the enemy jungle for whatever objective they're playing for. And then they group up. really giving it by the bulk, and they do incredibly well. Now, we're going to see Harry. Engage on the Zeke. I'm not sure about that. In the back line, Scout's been found, though. A glacial tomb that doesn't seal the doom. Hung jumps in, and it's on to Ning. Now for Doggo. He's free hitting with perfect guns. LP caught out again, Ooh. but roots down Balan. Sonic Wave not going to connect for the back line kick access. But jumping forward is Zeke. is TP back in because Scout was low. Zeke is flying space. Ning flashes forward, doesn't find anything on LP. Scout runs in, hits Forge hard. It's a messy fight, but now the tank frontlining separates with the all out. Harry's away from his team. Tarzan goes for a flying journey. 
Terry gets punished hard, but still as he gets flipped back, he's not dead yet. The Sonic Wave once more, Tarzan does take it in, but another endorse used out as Doggo down the middle. We have to be bailed out, but he's going down fast. And that's a pick from Scout and Tarzan. The best bit jungle in the LPL is Forge. Runs for his life after a dangerous TP and Scout, Scout, Scout. Once more, putting up Clown G, a pick and angle. Teleport's coming as well. Here's Tarzan for the kick again, but it's not the greatest. He tried to slide, fly, but there ain't no divide. The hostile take over this time, Lyric. He's going to zone out LP. The explosive cast in too. Doggo doesn't get revived. Instead, it's now Balan running for the hills and jumping in again. Zika, Tarzan, and don't you forget Scout. Hung with beautiful engages yet again. Ultra Prime on their death door is the root back. The note. The number three team into this game, mm -hmm. sitting at 11 and 3. Again, things really have to work well. And it's nice to see them follow the success that they had in summer. She's game number one. One of their most important series to close out the regular. Before uh, the scene starts taking Whoa. stalls, you can see Scout is able to do that time after time. Is, uh, yeah, you know, at this point, I'm going to take a stab. The game's going to be over the next two and a half minutes. Two minutes, yeah. Hell yeah. You know what? I'm going to say a minute and a half because this is going to be the final fight. Ultra Prime Lurk are going to fight for this. You wait for it. LNG have two waves. It's going to be over in 40 seconds time. Hung okay. doesn't have okay, a flash. You're saying 31 minutes. minutes. You're saying 31 okay. minutes. We're going to see I'm Scott saying 31. Do. I'm saying 31. Okay, I'm saying 3127. I'm giving Ultra well, Prime a bit more respect. Well, I'm not because one next turn or he gets forced from Great Engage on to LP, but the cleanse through the hostile takeover. Only hitting one, but Hunt not finding engage this time. Maybe you're a little bit more right as now having to run away. Forge is already dead though. Scout still with a full Ooh. mana bar, enough to do what he wants as the kickback. Tarzan unleashed it yet again as now for the ulti in LP. Rocks out Valand and LNG rock out the rest of them. Even Scout. Oh, that would have been another kill. So nicely played. And LNG taking Ultra Prime to school. Actually winning even faster than you predicted as well. A True. couple seconds off from that 31 minute mark. And it was just pure domination from start to finish. Ari. Ah. Come on. Come on. Play a re I wouldn't play a really insult against Annie. That's just a that's just a suicide. I don't know why you want to really. I don't know why you want to really insult for Forge. But... Because oh, what a journey it would be. That guy used to play a hell of a lot of Rise. It's similar, but not. Hey, at least at least our... I'm gonna say SK sub. on SKT he played three individual games. So you, so you're thinking he played one series? Oh, I'm playing yeah, obviously. Uh... Talking to Gory, who's coming up next. We get it all in the game finally. Hunt flashes from the hook and it's a perfect land. But it's on to Balan, who just gets right out. LNG fully committed. It's neat, quite healthy as he pops on the ground. Challenge around the circle goes, but Herald taken by LNG. Meanwhile, first flight over the connection. Who is thriving in this fight? Tarzan flashes out to get that eye as the double already goes over to Harry. Zika chasing him down, but the damage already done. Tippers is out too as Nick is Make hiding. It it's me! Ain't a twitch, but Nick. Pops out of the shadow. Great job by Ultra Prime leveraging when wanting to prevent that from ever starting. Well, with that opener, Ultra Prime should be pretty confident here with a 2k gold lead, but let's see how far it goes, because in a 1v3, Harry is trying to buy his time at the ulti, but knocked up Saz for the time being. Zika might die under turret, he doesn't have a flash, and now no hope either. It's a good shutdown. It went to Tarzan, but it is still a trade that Harry took 1v3 without Dominus. Yeah, or giving over bottling plates to Doggo. We yeah. saw them do this in game one, but it seems like LNG Boss. were hoping to make a Herald play mid. Ooh, okay, kick back as well. We go into that challenge again, but Ning's just dead. Tarzan goes past the turret, almost dying on the way out. Finishing off the scuttle, so not getting any pressure down bot. You're catching waves in mid, wow. and this is just completely untraded. Uh, you know, you were talking about it shrinking down. Now, it's even. They're going to try for the dive here, but Zika, look, look at the wave. About to be thinned out as Forge comes through. Charm is interrupted or rather the ulti does so. But ulti on the turret, Zika should still be dying here as Ning tanks up in the end. Good route back, but Scout flushes. Ulti's oh, in. The credit card blocks it, though, and he missed. You're right. He missed it. That's not often something you say from Scout. Like, Zika didn't go down too quickly. I feel like you could have played that slower as the other members of LNG and tried to reroute and play more near your turret. Not available to pick an angle instead. He's going to take this one. Spirit Rush is coming through as LP sits in 
with that monkey too. Scout might be caught out though, as he's gonna be engaged on the quickness use as well. As he goes golden, Hung sends out the passage, but it's blocked away. Scout got MVP last game. He obviously wants to make it harder for himself. Zika still there, hoping and relying on the lantern, not able to do so. So it's not only gonna give over Harold to Ultra Prime, but also gonna open up a turret. Wow. What's that year? Uh. Well, the Scout is walking into a trap. In fact, so is LP. They flash the charm and he gale forces out. The fortune that the follow up is uh, Drift King Vika decides to do a little bit of. In. LNG looks like they're hoping Tarzan to steal. Okay, we're well, now going golden. Forged by Syme. LNG are on the escape path here as LP is going to come through. A good dark passage out, but Tarzan stunned up. Outland ready for the engage. Wants to go back in, but he goes to a shot instead. Tarzan has to run away because now going forward, Tarzan flash back in. Zika does get the kill as Scout rejoins. What is happening here? Sonic Wave connects onto Doggo. By striping the other members of Ultra Prime to come in, but I think we need to stop because look at the bottom left hand of our screen. In the same spot, but this time <laughs> Tarzan doesn't spot. have LP to just ulti and uh, pick up the kills. So as Zika stands here, his team not with him, he ults and wow, Forge is unable to. EDG's hand for that top oh, yeah. two spot. Well. Not what you want is LNG, but now the Baron, I mean, it's looking like it. Baron's going to go down the smite a little bit early, but now for the re-engage. However, LP got the first kill. The blades go out as this Gravitum of Belios is not being touched. Lyric, why aren't they attacking LP? Do they want to lose LP? Because at this point, Ultra Prime might get the Baron. They may get Scout again, who's just begging to die this game. But Baron's taken off two. Maybe now three members. Tarzan with the Dragon's Rage still. Zika looking for the engage. Ford sends up. Ning goes back in. Tarzan then dies as well. Gravitum coming through. Never mind. LNG might lose his uh, double Gravitum. He has Everfrost as well. Forge survives. This game, a bit bonkers to this. say. 15 to 6 in favor of Ultra Prime. Maybe even getting more. Oh, they're going to get Just more. out of range of Harry. Ultra Prime is still here as Zika just going to be oh. looking to front like this. They know they're there. Sonic Wave connects as Harry ulties through. Ready to come over the wall. Finds LP. He cleanses. Takes the Dark Passage. Gets out alive with a... Several multi, and now he's fighting back. Did Hung just win the game for LNG? I don't know. Because Tarzan's still dying as LP picks up a trade. This Thresh may have just done it, but still members are dropping like flies. LP may have gotten that much damage down, but Ultra Prime still have numbers themselves. Tarzan's still here as the health bar's a big issue. The Dragons, they were hoping to some of the members of oh, yeah. LNG down. Not going to do any traveling, the prep that's involved, including scrims and all that. Like, it, it's not the same as, you know, in other regions when you're playing like every weekend or there is no travel involved. It, it just isn't the same. So, um, I don't look at these games as harshly, I think, as maybe other people would. As LNG, this could be the last hurrah, though. The top lane tower was prioritized and broken down. Harry jumps into the prowlers, ball on top of Zika. He burns immediately. A scout blasts over the wall for the all in engage. Out go Ultra Prime for the time being, but another hook lands on him. This might be an opportunity as Ning goes gone for the nick of time, but Balan can't get to re-engage himself. Another death sentence, but this one doesn't connect, and it's now even numbers. Both top laners are dead, but Ocean Soul is going to give Ultra Prime the advantage. So they take down the inhibitor anyway. The front line, but it doesn't feel like it. As he has to flash away because the constant DPS is too much. Everfrost going to be used. A hook again. A dark passage to save the day. Balan goes in deep, but... He's Rakan, he gets out with another death sentence that follows through from Hung, but now triple inhibitors are down. Look at the minions channeling in at the same time. The last stand has to come through as Doggo flashes away. Tarzan tries to get that miracle play. Into the back line they go with yet another hook, but Tarzan's now down. Death sentence on a Ning, not the right target. As LP does tie it back. This flash used again as Doggo runs in aggressively, but he needs the root onto LP. A dark passage used once more. Next turret are under threat. Last stand of LNG is going for a millennia here, but now both the turrets are down. The minions are overwhelming. I think Old Prime just have to tap on the Nexus, but with a four-man ulti, LP keeps it close. He wants the range through Calibrum. The only reason I'm treating this seriously is because they haven't found him yet as he runs in with so many crescendo. And now Ming's on his lonesome. He'll die down oh. the Hung, in fact. Is on to Forge next, look at the ninja gang. He will, but Forge is on his back and all it will take is a charm. A TP coming through at 2k. Don't flip it, don't flip it, don't flip it. Okay, they got it and they got Elder. Now the fight should be easy, but Scout gets the stun up, the kickback onto Forge. He's ever frosted down and he dies. Elder still taken though. That's four members. 
that pick it up and remember played a bit slow utilized all these supers that oh. are coming into the face oh, double stun from scout as well moonlight vigil hits too but ning pops the ulti straight away lp again he needs to be taken care of and the elders used nicely they get the front line tarzan goes into ga ning gets the engage he steps up too far lp from some great spacing in this game to now a bit of a whoopsie that's how it ends game two for lng taken away and ultra prime finish what they started lng Rough game, uncharacteristic, which you'll be able to put out later on. But uh, yeah, so more aggression coming out from LNG. Once again, strong mid jungle 2v2. But this time around, Zika can be able to have a lot of pressure up in that top lane. Well, Milio is open lyric, but they're going to go with Lissandra here to finish it off. So Ultra Prime just rounding out game number three. So we get Before being able to walk in. That's what they go Ooh. for. They're going to find Tarzan. Cyclone will come through. The Spirit Rush as well. He does have his ulti, but he doesn't get the pop. But dies down to first spot as Zika with a good counter strike. Forge only splits himself in place. The Frozen Tomb's down, but Harry's in trouble now. And Forge has got no other escape. Scout with the follow through. All it takes is one more bit of movement. He has the flat now, cheese, now, tomato, now you do need to pause. and a plain one that Harry is kind of like, right? Then you bring in the meat lovers. Harry flashes away. This is a good little mitigation, but there's too much CC, and Zika keeps tanking it up. Down goes Harry. The kill goes over to this Wukong. Putting him in the oven for far too long, burning Harry up in the top side. Is now hung. Well, Doggo's in trouble. Nice Death charge in as well. LP just firing away the killer instinct. Don't think it'll get him out. All you need is a couple of quick silver sashes, but Volta comes out late and getting punished for it as Scout comes through, cleans up Doggo, but now taken through is Hung. A one for one trade as even LP gets out and Hung gets. Being able to come out, put the overcommit there. Uh, we do at least see one answered back by Ning, but Harry. LNG have liked playing around top this series. Oh, they have, and look, they're just gonna keep funneling into Zika's lane. Harry is 0 2. It might only be 16 minutes in, but Zika's been having a great time this, this third game. Look at where uh, Ultra Prime is on the map. They went for the trade around Dragon. Gonna try and find a Gank mid. Okay, well, the dive is successful so far. LP, well, call the weak link as Forge only just survived, oh, but they're gonna Harold, get a charge. And they're not there. They're all committing to the bottom side of the map. So, free in hip turret at 17 minutes in the game. Uh, Ultra Prime, you need that. And now... And double Elim. Ultra Prime as they try and group up to be a thorn in the side as the line starts off a TP flank. That's beautiful, a death charge, a cyclone, and a flank from Scout. Now with the Spirit Rush, Zeke is gonna be charmed up with the quickness, but even with a single Counter-Strike, he's still done part of his duties. LP runs forward as the first kill is the only kill so far. Ning be able to deal more damage, so... True. I think not ideally where Ultra Prime would want to fight, but they're just getting... If, oh, you know, yeah. Shoot, you know? Or Trumpet. Like, we could do that as oh, well. Oh, true. Like five Trumpets worth of volume. How many times did Ning make it to the LPL promotion tournament on Young Mirthus? Oh, well, I'm going to say twice. Close. It was three as jungle oh, and as why support. Why am I up by one again? I guess it was eighty carry. Yeah. As jungle and as eighty carry. Yep. Oh, black break. Zika. That's so good from Zika. It'll be exhausted. Doggo flashes away from the depth charge, but still in the back end. Ning died as well. Easy as you'd like. I mean, this game's even more dominant than game one, which is why we have the freedom to just ask random about trio in 2020 summer, known as the, the kings of the LPL. Suiting? Sort of. No. No, uh, hang, hang on, not suiting. Oh, uh, hang on, Huge hold the thought. Flight. I'll Huge know this flight. one. Yeah, oh, it's a big one, matter. but I think it might be too late. It's about Lance just dead. That turret's about to die as well as Zing engages. He'll find that credit card. Only separates him from Mortal Reminder. Forward goes Scout, great spirit rush into Charm. This is more like it. LNG, I don't know what happened in the second game, but number one and number three show that you're one of the best teams in the league. Is Forge left isolated golden, but he's only got one Zonya's one watch, and Tarzan starts spinning to winning. Doggo's now gonna die. LNG are still gonna end up 12 and 3. LNG are still gonna end up high and mighty in the LPL. As Ultra Prime try to make this competitive. Game three is a wash. 14 kills, two deaths. That's more like it. Great showing from LNG in, in game three. Able to bounce back from, again, a tough loss uh, 
Again, pretty uncharacteristic loss for them in game two, where especially Scout really was just getting punished for this game. They should once again, if they